Okay, greetings my chess friends and welcome to this uh, chess video on the Coley system. And I had some requests from some of our chess friends wishing some more examples, some more ideas on the Coley opening system, so why not? Let's get into it. I have a game here that was played by Master Edgar Coley himself in 1923. And we'll simply reach the Coley mainline opening position. Knight to f6, knight bd2, and in this instance black played this bishop to e7, instead of probably the more active bishop to d6. Master Coley castled, black castled, and here we have reached the Coley main line position. Now what do we do in this position here? Well, we learned that we take on c5, avoiding an isolated queen pawn. Black takes, and what move do we play now? Yeah, you guessed it, e4. Freeing our bishop here that was entombed on c1. Now black doesn't have to take this pawn. In the game he in fact did. And we're glad that he did because we are trying to entice him into playing an ending which is good for us. We take with the knight because the second goal of our opening is to exchange our queen's knight for black's king's knight. Because it provides opportunities for a kingside attack. And we're hoping that black will take on e4 and we can go into our Coley ending. But as you know, our opponents don't always comply with our cunning plans. And in this game, black paid his bishop back to e7. Okay, we're not going for an ending, we'll go for a kingside attack. We'll keep our pieces on, we'll try and exchange off those pieces which are defending black's kingside, and we'll try and open up diagonals and lines towards black's king. Now we could swap this knight off right away, but if you've ever watched any of Iger Smirnoff's videos, you'll know that to take is what? To take is a mistake. Why should we increase the scope of black's bishop by taking on f6 right away? So instead of this, white played queen to e2, getting his queen off this open d file. Black did likewise with queen to c7. And here, Master Coley connected his rooks, developed a piece with bishop to g5. And rather interestingly, this knight left its post on f6 and came to d5. It doesn't look significant now, but it is in fact quite significant, and you will see that in the future. So White has achieved some success. He has removed this knight from its post on f6. Coley centralised his rook along the open file with rook to d1 and black did likewise. And here Master Coley played a very interesting idea. He played his bishop back to b1. I wonder if you could work out what the idea behind this move is. Well, simply, there's ideas of providing a battery of bishop and queen along this diagonal here against the weakened h7 point. It didn't happen in the game, but it's an idea to keep in mind. And black played bishop to d7. And I'd like you just to look at this position for a moment. Suck it up into your mind. The knight, which was such a powerful defender of the king's side, has done what? It has left its post. h7 no longer has adequate protection. The rook, which is usually a defender of f7, has done what? It has left its post on f8, where it is usually such a potent defender of the f7 point. 
a master quality takes advantages of uh, these uh, uh, positional oversights on Black's uh, part to conduct a beautiful kingside attack. First of all, he swaps his bishop off because he wants the g5 square for his pieces. Black retakes, and he puts a knight on g5 where it attacks these weakened squares. The Black realises that he's in some danger here, and he tries to block the, the b1 h7 diagonal with knight to f5. Master Coley carries out his idea anyway with Queen to h5, renewing the attack on these weakened points, and Black's got to do something. And he plays Knight to h sorry, yeah, Knight to h6, blocking the Queen's access to the h7 point and defending the f7 point. And here, Master Coley plays a beautiful move. This knight here is a defender of the king's side. And Master Coley makes sure that it can never defend the royal bedchamber again with the beautiful exchange sacrifice rook takes d5, exclaim. Well, white retakes. And if you think that is not enough, check out this next move. Knight to f6, check. Ouch. What are you going to do if you're black? Look at these two ponies conspiring with your, the queen against your king. Now in the game, black in fact took the sacrifice. It might be an idea just as an exercise. If you could work out what would happen if black moved his king somewhere else. But for the sake of brevity in this video, we'll, we'll simply continue with the game continuation. G takes F6. Of course, this does nothing to stop White's onslaught against these weakened points. And here Black tries the Desperado move. He tries to defend the H7 point with the Desperado Bishop take Bishop to F5. Bishop takes. And pawn takes the knight. And here is a very famous mating pattern. If you've done tactical exercises, you know that it occurs a lot of the times. How do you take? Do you take with the queen or do you take with the bishop? Well, we know that when we are attacking, we should always try and bring new forces into the attack. And reduce the king's mobility. So we take with the bishop. Because the king has only a single square left, h8. We force the king to do the dance of death. The king is forced to f8. And here Coley plays an absolutely beautiful little quiet move that ends the game. Look at that. Rook to e1 and black resigns. Of course he cannot take the bishop because his queen will be lost. And white is simply threatening mate on h8 anyway. What a beautiful game of attacking chess. And I provide it as an example against those people who say that the Coley opening is a boring opening. Coley opening is an awesome opening and provides many good and exciting tactical chances for not only getting into an ending which is advantageous but of kingside attack. And this game is a wonderful example of some of the things that can happen in the Coley opening. So I thank you once again chess friends for looking at this little video. It was certainly a pleasure to relate this game to you. And in the coming videos, we'll look at um, some other attempts by Black to avoid getting into a Coley ending. 
So thank you once again, and I do sincerely wish you well with your own chest. Take care and goodbye.